welcome back to my channel so these are few of the problems from the chapter 1 of uh, emf subject vector analysis so he might be asking these kind of uh, uh, problems also during the exams okay we have just uh, known from the previous videos about how to do dot product cross product and all right so we'll see uh, how to solve this in a you know these problems okay so see when something question like this is given vectors a and b are given okay and they are situated at point x y z so he's telling us to find a plus b a dot b angle between a and b and unit normal to the plane containing a and b and the area of the parallelogram of which a and b are adjacent sides okay if something like this is given we will see how to solve this so before starting any problem here okay just write the given conditions So given is a phi u x plus 4 u y plus 3 u z and b is 2 u x plus 3 u y plus 4 u z okay what is telling us to find the first one is a right a is a plus b so a uh, the sum of the two vectors can be simply added okay just like 5 plus 2 7 ux 4 plus 3 is uh, 7 3 plus 4 7 okay just i'm just rewriting again u f i u x 4 u y plus 3 u z plus 2 u x plus 3 u y plus 4 u z okay on solving this you will get around uh, 7ux 5 plus 2 is 7 okay 4 plus 3 is 7uy 3 plus 4 is 7 uz that's all a plus b is this one okay next question what he has asked is a dot b a dot b okay just multiplying these two uh, for this you can just write it as ax bx plus ay by plus a z uh, b z okay so from this condition a x is 5 okay a y is 4 and a z is uh, 3 so this is in the form of okay a a x this is a y and this is a z this is b x this is b y this is b z okay just multiplying this two okay that is nothing but 5 into 2 plus 4 into 3 a by b by this one 3 into 4 okay so that becomes 10 plus 4 into 3 is 12 3 into 4 is also 12 so this becomes 34 so a dot b is 34 okay this is how we will calculate a dot b okay so next third bit is angle between a and b okay how to find this angle between a and b the formula is nothing but a dot b is equal to modulus of a modulus of b cos theta a b okay so already we got a dot b from the above one that is 34 we have right now we have to find mod a mod b okay then we will find the angle okay so a b already we have mod a how to find mod a is this is the formula okay mod a is nothing but a a how you will get is a x square plus a y square plus a z square okay so from the given condition we have right a values just writing that that is nothing but 5 square 4 square plus 3 square okay so this becomes 25 plus 16 plus 9 okay that is nothing but root 50 you can also write it as uh, phi root 2 okay similarly for uh, we'll find it for b modulus of b is equal to by square plus bz square all right so from the b equation what he has given we know b is nothing but 2 square 3 square 4 square all right so that becomes 4 plus uh, 9 plus 16 there is nothing but root 29 so we have uh, 
delta a and delta b values also okay now we know the formula right we know this formula uh, a b here a b is a b cos theta a b just writing rewriting here a b mod a mod b cos theta a b so from the second one we also know a b value so that is 34 mod a we already got it as a fifth, uh, 5 root 2 right 50 that is a 5 root 2 so mod b is here root 29 right into root 29 cos theta a b multiply these two equations okay and then divide over here you will get it as cos theta a b is equal to 34 okay divided by this whole term so this will become again the same 34 divided by 5 root 2 into root 29 take the individual values and also calculate in the, your calculator so this is around 0 0.8929 all right so theta a b is cos inverse if you want theta value cos inverse of this one 0 0.8929 okay so that becomes 26 degree i mean 7.62 degrees so theta a b is 26.762 degrees this is how you will find the angle between uh, a and b like the asked question so next coming to the next fourth question is so the next one is a cross b so these are a and b conditions a cross b like we know how to do the cross product of these vectors right a cross b is nothing but you have to write like this ux uy uz ax ay az just find the determinant over here okay bx by bz okay if you want to know how to do cross product of vectors and all you can go to the previous videos where i have shown about dot product and cross product of these vectors okay uh, i have uh, explained there uh, something uh, similar kind of an example over there uh, before only okay so rewriting this again this ux uy uz ax ay values we have right 5 4 3 uh, 2 3 4 just find the modulus okay how to find this modulus is nothing but like similarly you do in mathematics right same kind over here u of x so this is if you are taking u of x just 16 minus 9 you are removing this uh, row and column okay 16 minus 9 minus of uy remove this one and this one so this becomes 20 minus 9 okay plus uz uz 15 minus 8 so you will get this around 7 ux minus 14 ui plus uh, this uh, sorry 20 minus uh, 9 is 11 11 uh, sorry i think 20 minus 6 okay so this is 14 20 minus 6 is 14 uh use it 15 minus 8 is 7 7 use it so this is a cross b is equal to okay Sorry, this was wrong. I think this is clear, right? So, this is how you'll do A cross B. So, the next one is uh, unit normal um, to the plane containing A and B. Okay. So, this is nothing but unit normal is nothing but the unit vector U of N. Okay. So, U of N formula is U of N is A cross B divided by modulus of A cross B. Okay. If there is somewhere given mod, that means square root of that value. Okay. We have just found A cross B values, right? In the D bit. So, A cross B, what we have got is 7 UX minus 14 UY plus 7 UZ. Okay. So, the modulus of this one is nothing but uh, square root of 7 square plus 14 square plus 7 square. Okay. So, this becomes uh, around 17.1461. Okay. So, this is A cross B. So, just simplifying, keeping all this over here. So, U of N is A of B is this one. 7 U X minus 14 U Y plus 7 U Z. Okay. Divided by this whole value A cross B is nothing but 17.1461. 
six four. You can just keep it over here, or you can dissolve this seven by seventeen point four one four fourteen by this one seven by this one. So if you dissolve it completely, division if you do zero point four one u of x minus zero point eight two u y plus zero point four one u z. Okay, so this is u of n. This is how you will find the uh, unit vector. Area of uh, parallelogram. So area of parallelogram is nothing but the formula is modulus of a modulus of b sine theta. Okay, already in the first bit we have got mod a mod b values also, right? So just substituting this value, and we have also got theta value. Okay, so uh, mod a value we got it as phi root two. Okay, mod b we got it as two twenty nine. And theta value we got it as twenty six point seven six two. Okay, so just substituting all these in the above equation, you will get it as five root two into root twenty nine into sine twenty six point seven six two. If you solve all these seven sine values and all, so the area value of parallelogram, okay, is seventeen point one four six four. so this is how you you will solve this kind of problems so this is uh, one of the important problem if he'll uh, he'll be asking you in the first chapter of vector analysis okay i think this is clear so everything each and every step of the problem uh, it's related with the previous one whatever you have solved like mod a mod b theta values all these are like first bit second bit third bit right in same way it continues and uh, you know this is how you have to solve these kind of problems i hope it is clear by this we'll be ending this first chapter tomorrow i'll start the second chapter okay that is uh, coulomb's law okay uh, and i think uh, coulomb's law and field intensity i think there will be series of videos regarding that i hope it's clear and i think it's useful this is frequently asked question in uh, btec engineering especially in jnt i hope it is clear and if you have any doubts please write in the comment section it will be very uh, useful for me to uh, understand and help you out okay thanks